our bread and butter, and I'm talking about some major butter on bread, country music. But she had some stellar pop crossovers back in the early 60s. Skeeter Davis, The End of the World, one of her biggest hits, and it coming in at number 25 on WTBC's playlist this week of May 22nd, 1964. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Gonna get along without you now. Produced by Chad Atkins. This is one catchy record, but it didn't do too well on Billboard's Hot 100, going as high as number 48. Skeeter Davis, her real name was Mary Pinnock, but she changed her name. What happened was, I guess it was around the late 40s, maybe it was the early 50s, uh, she teamed up with a girl named Betty Jack Davis. They called themselves the Davis Sisters, and that's where Skeeter Davis at least got her last name, Davis. And they had a hit. They had a country hit in 1953. It's called I Forgot More Than You'll Ever Know. But not long after that, their career as a duo, done, cut short. Brutally at a car smash up, which killed Betty Jack Davis. Skeeter Davis was injured. She tried to reform the Davis sisters, but then just dropped it and pursued a solo career. Kind of along the lines of Patsy Klein coming out with all these lovely pop crossover, these country crossover records. Uh, as mentioned before, The End of the World was probably her biggest hit, late 62, going to the 63, and then, oh God, straight out of the Brill Building girl group. Uh, playbook. I can't stay mad at you. One of our most scintillating pop records. Man, I just love that record. Late summer, fall of 1963. I can't stay mad at you. Guess who wrote that one? I mentioned the Brill Building. I did it for a reason. Brill Building songwriters. Jerry Goffin and Carol King wrote that one. And now we got... Uh, I'm going to forget about you now at 1964 at number 25 on WTBC's playlist. Enjoy. It's a great record. 